Okay, so I have this belief that social skills are more valuable, more important than any currency, commodity, or any source of value that exists, has existed, and can exist. So, welcome to the latest MS4 Mental Health Wellness and Growth video. I hope you're having a fantastic Monday. Hope I am too, as it is Sunday. And what does that statement have to do with the topic of mental health, wellness, and growth? So, exactly how important are social skills? Well, it's because of social skills that we are able to make friends and we're able to extend those relationships of being friends in t at times into more important relationships. Social skills is also how we find, find employment when you gotta go to an interview, right? It's also how we move the jobs from, you know, where we start off into something more lucrative and, and mentally fulfilling. So social skills are extraordinarily important. I would argue that they may be more, more important, more valuable than any currency or commodity that's in existence or ever has this or will exist. So social skills are extraordinarily important. Not just for people who deal with invisible disabilities, but for everyone. For people like myself who deal with invisible disabilities, such as autistic spectrum issues, ADHD, and other learning disabilities, social skills don't come, come easy to us. And I also believe that the, the help we get in our lives don't help with our social skills either. And again, so skill that they are vital to everyone they have, but when you deal with these challenges, you struggle with them and you are kind of pushed away from developing them. Not kind of pushed, are, are pushed away from developing them. I take that, I take that part, that the kind of part back. I believe the only way you develop social skills is through experience, experience in life and doing things. And the big problem with this is that oftentimes with the best of intentions, and that needs to be made clear, but the best of intentions, our parents push us away from interest because in their view, it's not the safe route. And I want to touch this in another video some other time because it actually is a safe route for us. But they, because they don't see the safe route because it's not the normal route, they push away from our interests, you know, because they think it doesn't make sense for, for us to have those interests, we might get hurt, we might not be good at them whatever, you know, that we don't experience. And I firmly believe the only way you learn social skills is to experience. And you don't have that experience, you don't develop the social skills you need in life. And you stop and think about social skills is how we make friends, it's how we move some of those friends into more important relationships. It's how we get jobs. It's how we move those jobs into more financially rewarding and more fulfilling ones than the ones we started with. So social skills are, are, are vital. They're not just, you know, a bonus. The lack of social skills also leads to loneliness. Now loneliness isn't being alone, not having, not having people around you, but it's also not being able to connect with the people around you. And loneliness can lead to depression, which leads to a whole slew of problems, which I don't want to get into in this video. But again, I think that at the core, we need to be encouraged to pursue our interests because it is the best thing for us. It helps us develop our social skills and it helps us develop our, our self-worth and self-confidence uh, confidence as well. So that's the video. I try to do a M is for mental health, wellness, and growth video every Monday. Anyways, I hope you, I, I explained my point well. I hope you liked it. If you have any opinions, please leave a comment. Also, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And we will talk soon.